Hello. Ethel. I am most appreciative that you accepted my invite. How very lovely to have you here. I just redid the space, remodeled the whole kitchen. It's wondrous, isn't it? It's comfortable, clean. One could almost feel as if they could live here forever. Imagine this kitchen as your home. Imagine, perhaps, the fridge as your bed. <laughs> or perhaps a coffin. An eternal bed. Somewhere you could slumber, sleep forever. Hear me out, Ethel. The fridge is very insulated. Nice, thick walls to keep the noise out. How peaceful it must be to sleep in a fridge. To have your very own refrigerator heaven dark. No light will come through to bother your eyes. It's as dark as a tomb in there. Dark, quiet, and cold. Don't you like the cold, Ethel? Don't you like the cold, cold, cold death of? Think of how nicely you'll sleep in that cold, that dark, that quiet. Imagine how peacefully you would sleep being in there alone with no one knowing where you are except for me. You would never be disturbed by outsiders. You would only be disturbed by me, darling. And I promise it won't be too much. Not too much, not too much, not too much. No, Ethel. I'll only bring you out of the fridge when I'm craving a very specific midnight snack. A cold slice of chilled apple pie. I won't be greedy. It won't be too much. I do believe we'd both be happier with this little arrangements. <laughs> Though you do seem a bit reticent. A little unsure. That's alright. No need to fear this. I have something right here that will calm you down. 
quell your fears. None that hesitation that's plaguing you, holding you back from your own refrigerator heaven. You'll only feel a tiny sting, a little pinprick, and then you will begin to start going numb at all. There now, a forever sleep being plunged into your veins. Embrace it, Ethel. Embrace it. Feel the medication flowing through you, cooling you. We can't put you in the fridge. Piping hot, no, you need to be pre-chilled, my darling, now feel your body temperature dropping as your heart rate is dropping, your eyelids are dropping, everything coming down, 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 there, now, Ethel is cooling. Cooling, cooling. This will help. The fridge won't be such a shock now. I've turned the temperature down in there in advance. Just for you, Ethel. I want you to laugh. A long time. I don't want you to spoil like old, forgotten leftovers. No, Ethel. No. You are my paradise. A cold enjoyable paradise. Your skin like marble. Your eyes frozen open. Staring ahead. Unblinking. So you can always see me. Watch me stare straight ahead from your dark tomb, awaiting my arrival, waiting for me to pull you out. We'll play in the kitchen. Late at night, just you and I, by the refrigerator light, peaceful, 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 sparkling, glittering, sparkling, glittering, ice chips, 
lips in your hair, making you so much more beautiful, so much more desirable. Your beautiful Ethel. Your injection, even now, is forcing your limbs to stiffen in place. An eternal position you'll hold forever. This beauty of yours, frozen in time, where I will always be able to admire it. How much more beautiful you are in death, my pet, my sick thing, my thing. Cold Ethel, you're my paradise.